Hi there, welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. I am Andrew and today we're going to play Hearts of Iron 4 with Italy uh, with the last DLC Arms Against Tyranny. And oh boy, oh boy, last episode has been fun. We, we managed finally to defeat the Soviet Union and luckily, luckily, we managed also to puppet the Reichskommissariat Russia, which is uh, granting us, I think, throughout some time, also a good source of manpower. So, at the moment, we don't have any open conflict, you're aware. And this episode is going to be one of the... I really love the, this kind of episode because... What? Total dominance of the Duce, political... What? <laughs> I didn't know that I had this thing. <laughs> Look at him with the... He's, he's already feeling like a Roman Emperor. <laughs> Anyways, so, I want to go soon... Yes, in this direction, but... What I want to do now is I want to be the first military power in the war. I have all the possibilities to do that. But Germany is not going to be easy uh, to, to beat, of course. So we are going to start now slowly to investigate in Berlin, in Warsaw, in Stuttgart, in Prague. Uh, not in Munich, otherwise my spies would get drunk at the Oktoberfest. And we will try to study a little bit our friends here. At the same time, now we review all what is open here, and we try to. Can I say we try to get any sort of uh, advantage that we can that we can get. As simple as that. Paramilitary training in Russia. What's happening if I do this? Okay, army experience plus zero one, daily fashion support plus zero one. Politically power, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that and let's that's it. Look at this, we have three military factories, it's real real estate. Um we are building already a lot of interesting stuff. I wonder if I could build something new that the oh the rocket artillery, but also also this is this is really interesting. If we can manage to have wow, mechanized equipment, uh, well, that's that's pretty good. And tanks, this is what we need. Okay, let's go to the research. We are currently researching fuel refining, excavation, nuclear reactor, advanced computing machine, and, and rubber processing. So we are kind of in the industrial slash uh, oil uh, field, which which is fine. We don't care about buying equipment, honestly. I mean. Yeah, look at look at look at what is uh, Bulgaria doing. They're selling ninety four thousand rifles. Are they are they are not responsible guys? They're not responsible. <laughs> the war is over. Everybody is selling their stuff. Oh man, oh man. Okay, look at this trade. Is it isn't it fantastic? And look at these buildings. Okay, so. What we're gonna do, uh, we are also starting building some, let's say, defense lines. I, if I go here below, I reach Alsace Laurent, but uh, I need to start building also some some uh, some borders here and here. We are gonna do it when it's time. The free dockyards. I might consider just saying uh, uh, whatever. Everything for repair. That's it. Available planes. Okay, so all my air forces, all of them. But we never be able to do this, huh? right? We cancel the what they are doing. We stop them. We move them to Roma, where we, by the way, are going are going to improve the airfield. Otherwise, we are really not really good. Also, these guys here. These guys are going here. Same topic. Those guys are going here. Same topic. Infantry. Well, uh, we are going to set up uh, a better border. But for the time being, what we uh, are going to do... We're going to transform the troops that we have, can I transform them in, in uh, Montaniers, for example? Yes, I can. Because they're on the Alps, so I need to do that. 
And by the way, I believe that I could improve massively my mountaineer divisions and I have to do that. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. Look at this. This is amazing. 30 combat width. We have now artillery. We have more, more guys. Imagine now this kind of army. If we manage to push into Innsbruck and then we push again with the trucks and uh, the tanks towards Munich and, and then we try to get in. You know? That's not bad at all. I now uh, cancel, I unpause the, the game. Um, because I have to create so, some lines with uh, infantry. All the colonias turn into normal infantry. Okay. Now I look uh, to the other armies and I try to check. Okay. So Visconti could go here. You, my friend, you go here. Okay. And you turn all your divisions into infantry. Okay, we don't have the anti-air, we have to build it, fine. Here, I think that we forgot a piece. <laughs> yes, and here too. Okay, what are those guys doing? Those are doing nothing. They are going to defend Russia somehow. Uh, not really. Here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I know that it's not your... Uh, you cannot stretch so much, but you're going to do it. Okay, fine. Okay, we have other mountain divisions. Now we have to check uh, for just a moment the uh, geography. For example, here in Württemberg, we have also mountains and, and hills. So actually, uh, Bastico, with all those mountaineers, let's go here. Uh, this is also another area that could be easily, uh, not easily, but pushed and encircled. But we need a lot of tanks here, because German is not that easy. But look at now uh, the trucks behind the mountaineers. Okay, this is, I think that this composition is pretty good and pretty dangerous. Then we need to have a look. All right. Okay, those guys, this is all infantry. I was going here. Those guys are also going here. And those guys are... Uh, oh man, hey, hey, going here up, it's really... It's really tricky. Oh, by the way, thanks God. Uh, we, need, uh, we need also to get back... We need to go back to, to Africa, right? Yeah, sure. I, I don't know what I've done with Bulgaria. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, it seems good. And now that we are all well positioned, positioned we give the... <clears throat> right order. Shift K and Shift K. Everybody's getting trained. Now, we have still 865,000 800, uh, troops that we are we have to, uh, to, to, to drop. I want to say to hire, but we are not uh, this kind of company. We start researching the experimental rockets. And here we have the infantry. Um, I also want to start building the tanks. And really the tanks means that the Celere needs to be even more so if, if, uh, how can I say tough that's what I mean mobile combat support motorized artillery 
and also here. No motorized artillery, please. So let me read this. 8.1 km per hour, organization 33, combat with 42, soft attack 343, hard attack 288. Okay, those divisions can really push, in my opinion. Cavalry division, for real. For real. Um, I mean, we have uh, the scouts. We have the artillery, which is not supporting anything here. We have the logistics. We can provide the light flame tank, but this is decreasing the speed, I guess. Right? No, the speed is 8.1, so this is fine. And engineers would increase even more the defense. But I, I mean, I think I don't care about this. Let's see, let's save this. Okay. Let me see how many of those divisions I can train. Yeah, let's start with six and then, then we will see. Now, if I look at the... Okay, the reserves now we have minus 1,000 tanks, but it's fine. Minus 1,500 fighters. Come on. Really? Was it so bad? Was it so bad? That's just crazy. Bomber designs, okay. Okay, let me pause the game. So I will do a little edit now, and I will I will build the the line of uh, um, protection just carefully. All right, that's done. Now, you, as you can see, I put in the pipeline. Uh, a lot of uh, fortress because uh, I want to lure the Germans in this uh, on this side. Um, let's get the supremacy in the sky, which is very important. And now I think that we have 25 divisions. Why 25 and not 24? All right, 24. Uh, those guys, those guys could also go uh, here to South Africa, even if it's basically useless. Uh, um, I might consider first. I might consider using another uh, speed marshal. Second, I assign now an infantry guy. We put them here. We just need to protect better our borders. That's it. That's it. Then we start studying some better infantry equipment. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. No, oh, you go here. That looks pretty pretty fine. Now that we have excavation, we also go for the better mechanized. Um, actually, for organization to the Alpini is never a bad idea. And we need to check how much time we need to wow to recover the fighters and to recover the tanks. Then we can enter new tanks. You're refining, that's also great. We are really do we are doing really well now. Concentrated industry. Oh, Ceylon is ours. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. Um. So building infrastructures, it's not so, so interesting. I'm trying to see if I can. I can get something better. Uh huh. Actually, the railways are not a bad idea. Let's keep it for the time being. Uh, let's move to to Paris or anyways to France. We release all our tactical or our cars, and here we release all our fighters. And we start training. Um, I need to pick one point and focus all my air force there, where we want to push. I mean, we don't have the we don't have the the, lux the the luxus to say, okay, we keep the airplanes everywhere and we defend everywhere. No, no, no. We will push in a way, uh, in a place, and we try to give our best there. And of course, there are different uh, possibilities. We could try to push here. Here there is a big river, though. 
Um, I mean, there are rivers everywhere, but I, my idea is to try to get to Munich and Vienna. I don't know if it's smart, but it could be useful. Look at those troops here. They're starving, they're dying. Ours too. So we need to check if we can build maybe... I mean, we are doing pretty well, but if we had, for example, here and here, one um, supply hub, I think that our life would be easier. And it takes just a couple of months. Let's do it. Let's just, let's just, let's just do it. Come on. So we need a lot of anti-air. And luckily, we have enough industry now to do that. I love it. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's go to the agency. Oh, the Air Force has been successfully strengthened. Uh, this is uh, the first time that I win a missile in this sense. I don't know. Okay, here as you can see, Bastico has some uh, space for tanks, I would say. Ah, we have the Camicianera. We, we have to train them. We move them uh, all to Africa or so tricky environments, I would say. Wow, <laughs> the forts in Russia are done. Wow. As you can see, let's get also some rather um, station where I want to push. In Trentino Alto Adige, in, on the Litorale, and here on the border, as much as I can. Perfect. And when we go for more military factories, wonderful. Let's go back to uh, the infantry improvements. Let's do this. Now let me have a look. Fighters, tactical bombers, closer support. All right. Now we have enough tanks, but I don't think we have two thousand flying tanks. I think that we can slow down with them and improve the the standard tanks. Cool. Um, you see, I can add a couple of units here. We need them. We need a lot of them. We are never going to beat Germany if we are not uh, ready to push hard. But I am do I'm ready. I am ready. Okay. Let's start a collaboration with governments, because every time when we have enough power, we should start doing it in Germany, so we will uh, weaken the Hitler's government, which is pretty good. And I'm not really sure about when I want to strike. But it's important that we are ready. We are not ready yet. We, we cannot depend on the borders here. I think that we will need maybe another six months. As you see in Stiktvar, we are doing also the uh, logistics center. In Africa, we are actually defending pretty well here and pretty well here. And then when those troops are done in this area, they could, uh, they could go uh, south and uh, try to get also South Africa. Okay. 
Okay, this looks good. Okay, this looks very good. So. Wonderful. Modernized and salted Wopoli is, is great. Okay, I think that we have a new... No, not yet. We don't have a new anything. <laughs> uh, but we are going to assign the cannons to every... to every army. Okay. We have 35,000 uh, manpower and starting a war in this condition. How can I put it? It could be tricky. Usually in the West in the East Indies are full of garrison support because they're very yeah, there are a lot of people, 420,000 people, it's it's great. Uh, probably also Russia will help us. Unless they're not... Uh, no, also Russia can help us, yeah. Half a million also from Russia. And uh, what else? Um, let's see. Australia, maybe? Not really. Belgium? Not really. Yeah, and the rest was uh, the Mongolian Empire, but I think they, they are not, uh, yes, no, they are not willing. Uh, nevertheless, that was pretty good. We almost got a million uh, manpower that we can, again, train and put on the field. And we are doing very well. I think that we are doing very well. All right, we start now with the radar, and uh, and soon we will be able also to build some military factories. And then I think for we we need to do also some civil uh, civil factories, of course. Okay, I could integrate Russia, but I don't want to do it. Okay, let me check what we are uh, now drafting. Why this is missing? Anti-air is missing, okay. Well, this is a big, another big preparation. When the war will start, man, it's going to be fun. So, uh, my guys here are all on this border, right? Except for him. Yeah, but then I need to move him somewhere else. Yeah, for example, you see Cavallero is under the wrong field marshal. Okay, perfect. So now we can uh, cancel all the missions of those guys, all of them. And I assign the defensive line with... Uh, With the field marshal. It's gonna be easier. Perfect. It's gonna be easier. So, those divisions are getting normal. We miss always the anti air, but I don't care. And I need to check if uh, my infantry now is up to date. Um, I believe that I have enough uh, um, artillery. Yes, we need seven, 70,000 artilleries. Now we fill in, so we have uh, also an artillery in every infantry division. It's going to be 
a good investment in my opinion. Alright, look at those um, guys. So they go here. And then we have six tanks that we are assigning to uh, Zingales. And now Zingales in, on this side has really a huge amount of tanks. Here we absolutely don't. And we would need them. The problem is that we have to wait always a little bit of time. Okay, let's stop uh, the mechanized equipment because I'm also I also want to create a mechanized unit, so I will edit this one and duplicate this one, and I will uh, call it uh, division. So divisione meccanizzata. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just moving uh, everything what is mobile into mechanized. As simple as that. I think I made a mistake here. All right. This looks good. Light. Um, so, Light Flame Company, say. We train them. Okay, I cannot train the Camicionera because I have the cap. Let me see how many mechanized they can build. Let's say 12. Oh, we can build the nuclear reactors now. Oh, this is, go this is going to be fun. This is really going to be fun, my friends. All right. Okay, we have some commissionaire, but not everything, but it's also okay. Um, Ruata. I put them here always to Strasbourg as filler. They need to hold the line when we will be attacked, and that's quite fine. Let me go back to the industry. Let's feed Italy of... <laughs> Nuclear cores, which is now uh, nowadays illegal, but I, I like the idea. And let's build them. And I want us to check if now our um, logistics is fine here. Uh, Jain, as the German would say, yes, the logistics is fine. We don't have enough uh, en enough troops. We need to fill more troops on this side. Uh, I I can feed, for example, those guys. Thermojet resource, why not? And we need more mechanized, so let's uh, give 10 more here. Alright. Wonderful. Now we basically filled... Uh... No. <laughs> we basically filled almost everything what we needed to. Constantly training. Do we have another cannon here? Yes, sir. So we are missing the tanks, we are missing the mechanized, and we are missing then the next uh, uh, batch of infantry. At the moment we have 274,000 people as a reserve and on the field on the field we can uh, uh, use oh no it's not here i think i have to go here on the field we have 3.3 .3 million people ready to fight let's have a look at germany we must have a look at germany now let's go here um, by the way, I think I should move now back my spies. Intel Ledger. It seems that Germany has 2 to 3 million manpower as a reserve, available manpower, available, and deployed between 3 and 6 million men. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I mean, my Intel is not the best, but uh, they could be 
more than double. I think I think that I need to get uh, a little bit better if I want to attack them. So originally I had in mind to attack the US, but then I said no, we, we attack Germany. And now I'm thinking, ah boy, it will take some time. It will take some time. Fine. Let's improve completely our uh, artillery. And of course, now we start producing the next, uh, the best models. So, what I'm gonna do now, we'll end this episode, but uh, um, after that, I will review out of the, uh, of, of record, I will review the forts, I will review the, the radars and the airports and the anti-air because this is where we can get the best advantage. I might consider also fortifying this area here where uh, we actually could attack um, Turkey. And I forgot, kind of. Actually, we need another uh, line here to defend against Turkey. Africa would be theoretically ready. I don't understand why those guys are not training so I think ah maybe I didn't I didn't re um, replicate the, the training order after updating the templates that's why that's what happened. Division defense on poor territory plus five percent this is small but uh, but valuable and they want to have more um fighters so we can go here now in uh, Trentino where I where I built the other airports of Venezia that's also fine and drop all what we can then train but I, I noticed that I didn't build here the airport in Adige that's where I need it. And I also need a radar station. Now I have that, but you, you see what I mean. I had the radar station, but I didn't have the airport. But we're going to build this stuff. Okay. Okay, guys, I think that now it's not the November of 1943 for the spring of 1944. We must, we must declare war on Germany. Uh, here, for example, we don't have enough troops uh, to protect against the Hungarians that are really massive. Here we have we have 12 divisions. We have one division here of uh, Camicianere of militia defending it. It's pathetic. I mean, I can't accept that. Who's the boy here? Becchiarelli. But he has already 24 people. No, because I, I'm going to, to assign the tanks at least to him. A couple of tanks. Okay, and they go um, here. Then we will try to push and then circle in this area. Because if we have a good logistics and they don't, well, it's going to be very easy. Formazione. Oh, yes. The motorized is ready. I actually would like to do something. Oh, good Sony. Maybe. Why not? Let me put the motorized here. Because that's... that's They have a very good defense. I think they can uh, give a help. Uh, a very good hand here in Hungary. 
We need to avoid the disaster, you know. And let me have a look where I want to push. Okay, in this area, that's okay -ish, but we don't have any, any tank. We have little tanks. Here we can hold, no problem at all, but we cannot push. On this area, on this side, same topic, I mean, um, we don't have enough tanks. We should probably bring all tanks uh, on one side, whether it's this one or the other. Let me think about this. So, Farai, right, thank you for watching. Happy Christmas, everybody, on the 24th of December, 1943. Um, I think that I will. I, I think I will sleep over this and then decide how I want to proceed. So far, so good. Thank you for watching. See you next time.